I think we come back recharged. I think we come back, and I, I personally felt that I came back with a more elevated sense of what it means to do something that has an impact. Um, you know, being in Colombia, you know, being able to teach a class to all you know these students in the in you know Spanglish, you know, half of that in English, half of that in Spanish was exciting, and, and they were excited, and I and I felt we touch a lot of people with our experience and in a way that empowered them to pursue different options, go to graduate school or see a higher top for their own path. And I think it's the same thing for us coming back. We feel empowered to try to do new things. I came back also with a sense of gratitude and wanting to you know, maintain connection. I was in contact with uh, the Office of Global Programs with the you know, Vice Provost, Dr. Michael Odevumi, with this sense that we need to have you know, a, um, a more intentional presence in Colombia. There are these ties. We have people here at Penn State that are doing wonderful work in so many different areas, in entomology, in biology, in mining engineering. I mean, petroleum engineering, mechanical engineering. They all have connections with Colombia. We could be more structured about it. Um, there are graduate, you know, students that could, you know, come here as visiting scholars or as graduate students. Can we give that more form or more structure? So we, um, we were charged with the task force to initiate um, an evaluation for the potential of having a global engagement network with Colombia. And uh, to this day, what we've done is try to create a more explicit network of who is here at Penn State that has some form of connection. What uh, what can we recommend as a path moving forward in terms of which institutions we can try to uh, partner with um, as an initial uh, point of contact and what potential sources of funding can be uh, pursued for both institutions to collaborate in areas that are of mutual interest, say for strategic purposes both in Colombia and here as well. So, so that has been you know, that sense of coming back and wanting to re-engage at a higher level in some form or trying to trying new things and how um, uh, satisfying that becomes. And, you know, like, um, you know, Lise mentioned briefly a, a minute ago, uh, and coming back, I've, you know, also pursued new, new options and now working as administrative fellow with the provost, which is an opportunity for me to understand better how the university works uh, from an administrative standpoint. And I think having that broader perspective of things comes in good part from that sabbatical experience as U.S. Fulbright Scholar, where you see how, um, you know, how, how wonderful it becomes. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it's, you become, you come back with this sense of gratitude and, and ready to tackle new challenges because it empowers you. It's a transformational. So you come back and say, you rethink what you're doing and say, well, how can I reach out? How can I be more effective? How can I do new things? And, and even the things you did before, I find myself in classes talking about the experience, discussing things, uh, uh, talking to my students and, 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 and trying to match them with some of students back in Colombia that they work on similar topics so they can continue and, and bring that awareness to them, how they should engage also, how that is important for them. So you, you find yourself that you, you continue to be this ambassador for further engagement and you're looking out for new opportunities and you're ready to jump uh, you, you want to be less in the office, you want to do more things. I, I think that that's what you bring back.